Hello Super Friends and welcome to DC TV Talk. This is the show where we talk all things Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow and Black Lightning. And in today's video we're going to be discussing a little theory I have that I've come up with very recently about the possibility of Sarah Lance returning to the show that made her the character she was, and that is of course Arrow. Let's discuss. So, Sarah Lance is of course the badass assassin who is currently the leader of the Legends of Tomorrow, but she of course started out in Arrow Season 1, Episode 1, as uh, she died on the Queen's Gambit as it sank, but that wasn't entirely true, as she actually made it to Leon Yu with Oliver, but slightly after Oliver, and she became a series regular in Season 2, a member of Team Arrow until her death in Season 3, and then ultimately her resurrection in Season 4, which put her on the path to go down the Legends of Tomorrow, and that is where she's been ever since. So could Sarah Lance ever return to Arrow? Well, as far as Legends of Tomorrow is concerned, as long as that show is running, she will not be returning to Arrow because Legends of Tomorrow is such a separate show in terms of its context and storyline. It's almost in its own timeline in comparison to the other shows, and therefore it makes it very difficult to cross over. That's why you only really get them in the big four-part crossovers every year. That's when they only really cross over. So as far as that show is running, it won't cross over. However, I feel if Legends of Tomorrow was to end, was, you know, to finish completely and all the characters were to go their separate ways, I feel Sarah Lance would actually come back to Arrow, which is obviously where she would originate from, and I feel that this would be able to provide a lot of cool stories, a lot of cool instances, some awesome character interactions, and also this would be the best place for her to be as Sarah Lance fits really well on Arrow. I say this because Sarah Lance has a huge connection to many characters on Arrow, such as of course the leading man Oliver Queen, she has uh, a very strong relationship with him, of course her sister who is now deceased, uh, but we have Black Siren who I'll get to in a minute. We also of course have Quentin Lance, that would be very interesting to see her come back, I mean we have seen them interact of course before. Uh, and there's also Nissa Al Ghul and the connections to the League of Assassins, Sarah has a lot of connections to many different elements of Arrow which could make her a great fit to come back. Going back to Black Siren, I feel if now we have Black Siren on the show and she's going down this redemption arc to where maybe she could become a recurring character on Arrow, I feel like this would be the perfect chance to bring back Sarah, at least so we could have a scene at least where Sarah and Earth 2 Laurel interact because obviously Sarah has been trying to avoid, ever since being on Legends of Tomorrow, changing history to actually make sure that Laurel is actually alive. So to see that a version of Laurel in reality would be quite surreal for her, it'd be a great moment. I feel if Sarah was to come back, she would become a uh, recurring character. I don't think she'd be in necessarily every episode. Maybe she would, I don't know. But I feel like a recurring role would fit her best, where she would come in, you know, and she would always kind of be there. I think she would have a similar amount of episodes as, say, someone like Quentin Lance or Thea Queen, someone al along those lines, where, you know, they're not in every single episode, they're not necessarily required for every single episode, but sh they, she is there nonetheless, and she's there when they need her. And I feel that would be the perfect place to put Sarah after Legends eventually ends. Plus, Sarah Lance fits so well on Arrow because of the type of character she is. She is a fully trained killer assassin, and she's one of the only members of the Legends who doesn't have abilities of some kind, uh, whether it's actually meta powers or a tangible object that gives them powers. Point is, Sarah doesn't have any powers whatsoever. She's just someone who's extremely talented in hand-to-hand -hand combat, which makes her perfect for the gritty and grounded st uh, story that Arrow likes to tell and the action it likes to produce, and that's why Sarah works so well in Season 2. Also, it would be absolutely amazing to see Oliver and Sarah back on screen together because those two have such good chemistry and they are so much fun together. Like, every time they come together on the crossover, it's so much fun. And I think Sarah works so well in Season 2 because she really is the only female character on Arrow who's been Oliver's equal. Oliver's never really had an equal other than Sarah Lance. Sarah Lance could easily take Oliver in a fight or it would be very, very close because she is the closest one to his skill set. I think the discussion about where the Legends of Tomorrow members would go after the show ends is a very interesting one. I was going to make a whole video about it, but I don't really have any theories about where most of them would go. Like I said, I feel Sarah would come back to Arrow. Uh, in regards to other characters, I feel someone like Vixen would probably just uh, go back to that time period she was in, in between two and Season 2 and 3. I just feel, you know, that's where she'd go. But then other characters like Firestorm or Nate Haywood or anyone like that, it's really difficult to pinpoint where they'd go. The only other theory I have is that I reckon Ray Palmer would come back to Arrow, but he would be a guest star. I feel he would come back maybe once or twice a season, and that would be it. He'd go back, try and reclaim Palmer Tech or what's left of it, and 
continue doing his research as he was uh, when we first met him in Season 3 of Arrow. I feel that's where he'd go. Or maybe he'd go to The Flash. I think that would be maybe really cool to see him on The Flash. I think maybe he'd fit a lot better on The Flash. Uh, but either way, I think he would go back and we would see him after Legends ends. But in regards to Sarah Lance, she's such a popular character, everyone loves her, Katie Lotz portrays her so, so well. I feel for them just to kind of eliminate her from the Arrowverse as soon as the Legends show ends. I feel that'd be a huge missed opportunity and fans would not be happy about it. So to put her back on Arrow where she began and where she's best suited, I feel is the best decision they could possibly do with this character. Because like I said, she fits so well. I don't know if she necessarily would have to become a member of Team Arrow again, because we obviously have Black Canary already, but it'd be still a great choice. So, what do you guys think will happen to Sarah Lance on uh, Legends of Tomorrow when it ends? Do you think she'll go back to Arrow, or do you think she'll just be one of those characters who's pretty much disposed of and forgotten about since then? Or do you have any other theories about any of the other members of the Legends of Tomorrow who would be uh, where they would go, what stories they would have, what show would they be on? Like I said, I think it's very difficult to pinpoint most of them. I think Sarah and Ray would kind of go back to their roots, but then the rest of them, very, very difficult to pinpoint. But tell me your thoughts in the comments below. So thank you guys for watching this episode of DC TV Talk. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. It will help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone and everyone you know who loves DC TV and get them to join the community. And as always, guys, please subscribe for all of your latest videos on Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and Black Lightning. And with all that said, guys, I hope to see you guys again in my next video.